Good morning peeps, James Atkins Fishing here. It's just turned 5.30 and I'm at a new water again. I've heard about this place but never seen it before or never fished it before. Right, where it is, is Broom Pits, Bungie. Let's show you the lake. I don't know what the peg number is. There's carp anglers all the way around there. So I've got to come around this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feed a swim. Let me just try and if you, I'll use that tree there as a target, and I'll put it just into the shadows there somewhere, about oh I don't know, 50, 50 meters or so. I've seen a couple of carp moving around out there. Still, <laughs> it's a rare peg. Because look, you got a steep hill all the way up there. So I brought it down ever so gently, from up right up there. Look. I brought it down ever so gentle. What I'll do is I'll take the trolley back up there empty and then carry the gear up to it. I just had some cuts just down there. Right, let's get set up and I'll catch you in a little while. Well, peeps, I've been baiting my swim up with a big bait up feeder. The big feeder, the biggest you're allowed in competition, although I'm not in competition. So what I'm doing is putting a load of Fuka bait out with some ground bait so it holds in there. Marvellous as soon as I turn that on. Ding ding. <laughs> I did move. Right, I've baited up a load so I'm just going to show you what I am doing and where I'm fishing. I don't know how far it is, I'll work it out in a minute. Big carp rod with a big bait up feeder. Ding! Just a bit short that one. But that's all right. I'll leave it like that. I'll let it empty out. Or that will empty out because I don't nip it too hard. I think it's about five, five foot odd out there deep. And on some knowledge of people who fish here a lot, they've said bait it up bait it up with loads so you get the bream moving if you ain't got loads there they'll just move on so I've got ground bait fuca bait hemp seed and in the I've got a few halibut pellets in here as well in the ground bait so as you can see I've got a full mixture in, in there of all the colours of the rainbow little drop in there like that then I top it off with the ground bait don't nip it too hard just enough to hold it in there and this is a big old carp rod I don't know what that is actually I've had it a long long time just a it's a Daiwa high performance C2212 <laughs> whatever that means <laughs> I don't know it's strong enough to get me out there Oh, emptied. <laughs> that one didn't work, did it? <laughs> Still, I might as well show you my failures as well as the successes. And that was a failure. I don't know if that emptied out behind me. No, I can't see it. Just emptied out over there. I'll try, I'll just show you one more I'm putting out. Then I'll carry on feeding a bit and I'll be back to you in a little while. Let me just put some, just a little ground bait in the bottom this time so the small pellets don't go right through and a bit more ground bait to plug it make sure it don't happen again as you know I'm not the best fisherman in the world <laughs> right Clip. just a yard short but that's all right I don't mind doing a yard short because I've hit the clip loads of times that must have been about 10 I've put out of there those big bait ups and I've used the small spawn to put some of the fuca baits and the hemp seed out right 
I'll get back to you in a little while. Well, <laughs> I cast out, that was out there 30 seconds, and I'm into a bream. <laughs> and I hadn't had the land in it, I had to set my land in it up. <laughs> on a Blackfoot 10 mil Fuka baitler. My very first fish from this new water. Well, they said put plenty of feed out and they're right. That's not a bad first fish, is it? <laughs> Brilliant. Right, how I'm loading this up is just put just a covering on there. And as you can see, I've got a size 12 hook. My stomach is rumbling because I'm hungry. <laughs> And I always make sure of that hook like that. So sticking up in the air. Then you put pellets to hold it like that and have that right up against the black fuga bait as you can see the fat boy. And I had that bream within 30 36 seconds. Well I struck on it and failed to and then hit the stop watch and it was 36 seconds. <laughs> and that's how it is, but right let's get out there again. sun's a bit awkward on my left hand side and it's reflecting off the water as well so that's going to be very awkward but hey ho all the other swims have got carp anglers in so that's why I come around this side it's a fair old walk but there we are another new water <laughs> right let's see how we get on the camera just a little bit see the tip just tighten up a tad more and I'll work out 45 meters I'm out there that's right 15 wraps at three meters per wrap that's what we do on our feeder rods so that's 45 meters I'm out there right I'll catch you in a little while hopefully with another fish well we're in again I lost one halfway in a minute ago. A bit gutted about that, you know, you get new water and you lose the second fish. Oh, another good brim. Well, nice one. Looks like a good one, that's all right. Lively. You go fighting about, look. <laughs> there we are, look. <laughs> Do nicely. Yeah. Hoo <laughs> hoo. Slimy. Never mind. It's all right. Brilliant. Well, that one came after 45 seconds. <laughs> I think the bream are finding my ground bait now. That's good. A slightly better one. Got him. Oh, hooks just come out. Lovely. Down there and show you. Oh, Bream. Yeah, you do that every time, don't you? As soon as I pick you up, you go. <laughs> well, they're all right, aren't they? What are they? Pushing two pounds each? It's all right, that's number three, isn't it? <laughs> Another small one. <laughs> Never mind, that don't matter too much. Knock me rod off. <laughs> that's why, because that's caught in the net, look. Come here. There we are. It's 
number five. I'm getting two on each, or different each colour Fuka bait. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Let's get out there again and see if we can get number six, I think it is now, isn't it? Because a bit awkward looking at that tip, that sun's right in that water there. <laughs> Never mind, we're getting by. We're in again, one and a half minutes. They're coming thick and fast now. What's this number six? Not very big, but there you go. They say there's some big ones in here, but I want to see some of them. <laughs> see if I can beat my PB. Oh, get out my finger. You're gonna fight, aren't We're in again, I forgot the stopwatch, that's three minutes. This one feel a little bit better. No big ones yet, but there you go, that's, we'll see. There's time. This could be number seven, I think it is. I've lost, what, three down at the net, before I even got a chance to net them. That's a bit bigger. better. Yes, best one so far. A bit darker. Can't get hold of him. <laughs> right in the top lip. It's a little bit better, isn't it? They're getting bigger. <laughs> well, this one, <laughs> I don't know how big it is. <laughs> it's not a very big one, but I struck, started reeling in. Oh, stop watching. That still says 21 seconds. So that must have, that took it before even the line had sunk. And I just put another three or four little spoms of food out. Whether that spurred him on or not, I don't know. I'll say it did. <laughs> right, here we go, come on. That's it. 
It's really not a very big one, but it's still a fish, isn't it? <laughs> Too nicely. <laughs> Bit better. Lovely old jabbly. We're in again, straight away. 32 seconds, this one. Oh, and that's just come off. Oh. We're in again. Oh, I didn't stop the stopwatch, that's one and a half minutes. <laughs> Bad, is it? Number four, a bit of luck. Yeah, another bream or skimmer, whichever you prefer. I prefer bream. <laughs> yeah, slight, slightly smaller one this time. Oh, that might. <laughs> Smallest one so far. Soaked in the bottom lip. Get rid of that. Still a nice fish. Ho <laughs> ho There's another one. <laughs> Don't know how many that is now. Hoo <laughs> Lovely roach on a 10 mil fat boy. <laughs> Do nicely. And then the smallest one of the day, apart from that roach. <laughs> that taught me how to do it. I think we got a big one this time. Yes, that is a big one. Big old net. Woohoohoo! Yeah, it's a big one. It's a monster. Let's stop jumping in the mouth, jumping about rather. Yes, it is a monster. If I can get the hook, I've got a hold of it. There we go. Now that is going to be my biggest bream, I think. Look at the size of that one in. <laughs> now that is a proper bream, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's my biggest bream to date. If you can see the scales there. Eight pounds, six ounces. I'll just turn it to make sure you get it in. Eight pounds, six. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> I'm coming back here again. Or is this the smallest one so far? <laughs> Different to that last one, isn't it? And here's another one. Hey, that's the way. They fight in here for a bream, really. Never mind. All part of it, isn't it? Okay, see what I mean? <laughs> Still all the bait and everything I've been using so far, the reel, the rod, and all the equipment really. If you go in the description below and hit the little tag, see more, I'll put all the links to all the gear I'm using in there, alright? Cheers. See you in a minute. And an even better ropes now, look. They said there's some nice ropes in here. They said there's a couple of pounders, but We'll see, shall we? <laughs> what about that for a roach to finish with then? Oh, 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 oh. Look at that, that's the biggest one I've caught for a long time and that was on a 10 mil natural fuca, fat boy fuca. What a beautiful fish to finish on. It's getting very hot now and I've had enough. I've caught a load, as you've seen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It all helped my channel. <laughs> and help to make videos for you. <laughs> Cheers, thank you very much. Bye bye for now.